All right, now time for my blindness review. Now, blindness is a movie that is getting some, not a lot of attention, but some attention because some blind people are boycotting it because they think it um, paints an unfavorable picture about their disability. Um, I don't know why they were rejected that because obviously blindness is probably a really bad disability. Um, the movie is based on a novel that is supposedly unfilmable. I haven't read it, so I don't know if it's unfilmable. But the movie itself is, is actually pretty good. It's not great, but I, I thought it was solid. Um, Julianne Moore, Mark Ruffalo, Gail Garcia Bernal, and Danny Glover are some of the main uh, actors that are in it. They're, they do... Um, I, they, they're the reason why I would recommend this because of the acting. Really, I love the acting. The story, it's it's engaging, but it it's pretty simplistic. There's a bunch of uh, people that get blind all of a sudden, and they're all sent to this camp where they all have to live together, and they have uh, only very, very minimal contact with the outside world. And if they try to get out, the guards will shoot them. Apparently, they have a sickness that's been... Um, and they're all been quarantined. So that is the um, very derivative, simple plot. But the goodness of the movie comes from the acting and the situations that they face inside, which are pretty shocking and brutal. And I can, I can understand from a certain standpoint where the blind people who are boycotting it are coming from, because um, all of a sudden when these characters, when these people go blind, a lot of them take it different ways. Some of the characters cheat on their spouses. Some of the characters resort to murder. Some of them resort to rape. Some of them just uh, end up being really, really depressed. But it's really believable, I think, if all of a sudden you became blind. And it's not like a, a usual blindness. It's um, like this really, really bright white hazy light that makes everything just seem like someone turned on the lights really bright and you just can't see. Like staring into the sun I guess. And um, pretty much most of the movie is them being inside the camp and what happens and they don't have very much outside contact and it, it, it really it's just looking at how people deal with sudden unforeseen terrible circumstances and I think it deals with that pretty well and the acting is very solid I especially like Gail Garcia Bernal's performance in it even though he's not in it as much as I wanted him to be um, unfortunately during the last 30 minutes um, it drags out I don't want to give a plot spoiler but I'm just gonna say that it suddenly switches tones it's pretty dark but then it switches tones to um, a more hopeful but uncertain tone and then at the very end it's unbelievably upbeat you know I you know it, it didn't just suddenly switch it had a gradual move but in the last 30 minutes you can see it especially so and I think that it sort of lost its touch but through the rest of the movie I think it's pretty good Overall, I'm going to give it three stars. It's not a movie that I would um, see multiple times. In fact, I'd probably only see it once, but it's good the first time. It's just not a movie that you'd see over and over and over again. I don't, uh, it's being hyped somewhat for Oscars. I don't think it really deserves any nominations for anything. The direction is the direction's pretty good, but it's not like great. So that's pretty much all I have to say about this one. But I also have to say, like I mentioned in my Nick and Nora video, um, tomorrow I will put up a video that is a very, very angry, vicious rant directed at two people who will probably never see it, that I was sitting uh, two seats across from while I was watching Blindness, that really, really almost made me just leave the theater and just see, see the movie again some other time. Because, or just sneak in during the last 30 minutes because it was almost unbearable with what they were doing. So tune in for the rant because I'm going to unload. I, I'm just going to unload.
because I wish I could do it now, but tune in tomorrow. So, so far for this weekend, for the two I saw, I would suggest going to see, just barely suggest going to see Blindness in the theaters. I would not suggest Nick and Nora. Um, I'll try to see Appaloosa sometime during the week. Um, next weekend is a loaded weekend. I've got um, Quarantine, City of Ember, Body of Lies. Those three come out next weekend on the 10th. So I guess I will review those movies whenever they come along. Hopefully they'll be good. October's looking to be a really good month. Um, it's pretty much Oscar season and they're hyping a lot of Oscar movies like, like I said Body of Lies that comes out um, next week is hyping up to be a really good you know, Oscar movie. So um, looking forward to those and looking forward to putting more reviews out. See ya!